there, I'm Sandy Alnock, artist and Bible journaler here on YouTube, and today I'm going to be journaling from Exodus 15:21. Sing to the Lord, for he is highly exalted, both horse and driver, he is hurled into the sea. And this page is about a ministry that I had been in for a number of years. I'm not doing it anymore, but in the Facebook group that we have going on, We've been doing a theme each month. At least I've been asking people for a theme because it kind of helps keep me on track. And someone had suggested our talents and journaling about the talents that we have, what has, God has done with them, how he's used them, etc. And I'm kind of journaling some old stories and, and things that happened before I was doing Bible journaling because they didn't make it into my Bible because I wasn't doing any journaling at the time. This one is about being in music ministry in prison. And I was in the Kairos ministry, if you've heard of that one. And it's a ministry in which we did retreats for the women there. They were three or four day retreats. We'd stay at a church nearby, but we'd spend the entire day in there with the women. And we'd have talks and we'd have discussion time and small group time and ministry of all sorts and services and everything. And I did a the worship team a lot on these particular retreats. I am not incredibly talented at music and I haven't played the guitar in years, not since way back then, but I thought it would be great to journal this particular story because it just always comes up to me again because it was so stunning to me what God did. I was sitting in the sanctuary at the, the prison and somebody was talking and whatever. And, you know, I was kind of I don't know if I was paying attention or whatever, but all of a sudden, I it felt like the world was closing in. And I've never experienced anything like this before. And you may be a skeptic, but I am not a skeptic about the presence of evil in a physical way after this particular instance. I haven't seen this happen again, but I had a, a friend who told me this, that he saw things like this all the time. So he was not shocked by it at all, but, but I was. It was as though from the corners of the room, there was almost a cloud of darkness that started closing in and it was getting closer and closer and more and more oppressive. And I was petrified. I mean, I was instantly petrified. I didn't know what it was and it was physical and yet it wasn't physical because I could still see, but it felt like it was getting dark. And I questioned myself. I said, am I ready to faint? What's going on? But all I wanted to do was get up and run. And I couldn't get up and run. I was in a locked prison and yeah. So anyway, I sat there for a minute trying to figure out what to do. And I looked at one of the women who was on the worship team with me. And she looked at me with this knowing look and she said, whatever you want to do, I'm with you. And she didn't see what I saw. She told me later, but she said, whatever you want to do. So I waited until there was like a second of that person stopping the talking and I stood up and I said okay ladies we're all gonna sing and I had everybody get up and we sang that song this will this will give you the the approximate date for it, it was in the the uh, early 2000s I think and it was shout to the north and the south sing to the east and the west Jesus is savior of all lord of heaven and earth and the women, the whole weekend so so far up until this point, had loved that song because they don't get to shout in prison very often. They don't like they get in trouble if they do that. And in worship, they could just call on the Lord that way. And so as soon as I started that song, I knew that was the song to sing. And I had them, you know, kind of point and, and push away this darkness with their hands as we were singing and because they knew which direction was north and south and east and west. We had been doing that all weekend. And with every time they shouted, and we just did the chorus over and over and over again, that darkness kind of was pushed back little by little, foot by foot, until it was gone. And we just kept singing until it was gone. Now, nobody else knew what was going on. It was just me being weird. <laughs> but I truly believe that the Lord cast away something evil that was going on, and yeah, 
I'm, I'm not a skeptic any longer. I still don't understand what happened. Some of you may be skeptics. Some of you may go, oh yeah, I've seen that all the time. It happens all the time because I have friends who say they, they see things like that and they, you know, they pray over protection from things like that all the time. I, I'm not that kind of person, but that particular time it was, it was overwhelming. And to watch the Lord take music and move evil away with worship was stunning to me. It was absolutely stunning. And it was quite the experience. So I thought that was well worth putting here in my Bible. And I chose this little verse from Miriam with her leading worship. She was, you know, one of the early worship leaders of the church. And I thought she would be an appropriate person to put this next to. And I put a big pick right there beside the guitar with WCCW, which was the initials of the prison that this happened in. And then I included space for my journaling because it's always important to tell the story of what happened when you write, when you draw something in your Bible, tell the story of what God taught you, what he did and what he showed you so that you will never forget it. So there we go. My little crazy guitar story. You might think I'm nuts now, but it is what it is, right? Thank you so much for hanging out with me for a few minutes this weekend, and I will see you again next Sunday. I hope you have a blessed week, and please do join us on Facebook and share one of your pages about your talents that God has given you and what he's done with them. Take care. Bye-bye.